Today I'm going to show you how to create this fun looking text effect with Pixel Lab, and at the end I'm going to show you how to save it as a preset so you can reuse and edit it in any project without creating it all over again from scratch. Let's open Pixel Lab and get started. As you can see I've already typed my text and I'm going to be using this font called Obelix Pro. You can use any font you like but if you would like to use this same font I'm using, let me know in the comment box below. With the text selected, go to color and select gradient fill, change the color at the top to white, and for the one below I'm going to be using this light gray from my color palette, you can go ahead and copy the color hex code here. Go to stroke and enable it, change the color to a light gray and reduce the width to 2. Now go to 3D text and enable it, set the view type to oblique, reduce the depth to 2, change oblique angle to 225 degree, and light angle to 105 degree, also reduce the shadow to 20. Create a copy of the text and increase the size by 1. Go to the text style and make it bold, to make it more bold, increase the stroke width to about 12. Change the color to a light dark orange gradient, I'm using these orange colors from my palette, once again you can go ahead and copy the hex code here. Apply this same color gradient to the stroke and place the text right at the middle of the canvas, then move the layer below the first text and adjust its position to something like this. Go to 3D and increase the depth to 3. Now select the first text, go to shadow and enable it, reduce the opacity to 50% and the blur radius to 2, then reduce the offset x value to minus 3 and the y value to 6. Select the second text, also enable the shadow option and reduce the opacity to 70%, blur radius to 5, and change the offset x and y values to minus 3 and 3 respectively. And now, to save this effect as a preset, select the first text, go to styles and tap on save. When you click on browse, you would find the effect in my styles list, do this for the second test also. Now when you open a new project, select the text and make a copy of it, open my styles and select the effect we created, and also for the second text, then adjust it to the right position. You can edit it to whatever you want and all the effects will be applied to it. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, if so, please don't forget to leave a like and if you have any question, let me know in the comments section below. We'll be doing a similar text effect like this next week, so be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll get updated as soon as I upload it. Thanks for watching, bye for now.